you. Welcome to Bible Study Online. We bless the holy name of God. The God we are serving is a mighty God and He's going to begin to work His wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. My name is Chris, Pastor Chris of Body of Christ Center and I have my wife, Pastor Funke. God bless you. You are blessed and highly favored. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in Yes. Thank you so much for joining us for this was the online Bible study. You are blessed and highly favored in Jesus' name. Thank you for staying true. The intro God will bless you. We do appreciate you. Amen. And thanks for joining us for Bible study online. Hallelujah. God will bless, increase, and prosper Amen. you. We believe that you will be highly blessed and favored Amen. in Jesus' name. And your knowledge with the, in, in regards to the word of God will continue to increase and flourish in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you're not watching by asking by divine appointment. And we know that in this season, the Lord will divinely locate you like Amen. never before in the name of Jesus. So welcome. God bless you. We appreciate you that you are that you have taken time to be with us for this Bible study, and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. You are welcome once again. God bless you. Get your Bibles and your writing pads ready, and God will bless everyone in Jesus' name. Welcome to Body of Christ Christian Center Online Bible Study. And as you know, our Bible study is interactive, so we share together iron, sharpened iron, and we are showing ourselves to be approved of God, to know the word of God, and dig deep into the word of God. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So you are all welcome in Jesus. And don't forget that we are on two platforms. We are on two platforms. That is on the screen, as you can see right now. We are on Facebook. That is our Facebook address, as you can see. Please share on your Facebook page. Let's invite as many people as mm. possible online. And God will bless, increase, and prosper you. As I said, it's very easy for you. Wherever you are, you can watch us online, Bible study. And I tell you, life shall never remain the same. Amen. Again. So share on your Facebook page and also share with, uh, on YouTube. That's our YouTube channel. If you're watching us via YouTube, please share. We can see your comments on both platforms and God will bless you. So let's get ready. Get the Bibles ready. Get your pens ready. Get yourself ready. Get your questions ready. Very interactive and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are blessed and highly favored. You are welcome once again. Invite somebody. Get yourself prepared and the Lord of hosts will touch every life. And no life will be the same in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We bless you. Hallelujah. Father, you will give all the praise glory. Honor, marvelous King, ask that our thanks Amen. in Jesus' name. There's no life unto you. There's no besides you. There's no we can compare unto you. You are the great God. You are the El Shaddai. You are the Jehovah Nissi. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Every sin not forgiven. Jesus' name. Your power and your in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost, be good to walk your wonders. Prove yourself in our lives in Jesus' name. My dear Father, we invite you once again to our miss. Come down with your power, with your fire, with your grace. Come Amen. down come and teach us your word. Amen. My dear Father, we have all come to land at your feet. Teach us in Jesus' name. Amen. And let your name be glorified. Amen. We come against every evil work of the enemy and we bind, we cast into hell in the name of Jesus. Amen. We cover ourselves this program with the blood of Jesus. Amen. With the blood of Jesus. Have Amen. your way, Let your name be glorified. Amen. Bless us, Lord. Amen. Father, Bless every viewer in Jesus' name. Amen. Everyone that comes on, bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We bless and worship Amen. you. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name, we pray. Amen. You are welcome once again. Yes. God bless you. Welcome to Body of Christ Christian Center Online Bible Study. Yes. And God will touch every life like never before in Jesus' name. This is just your moment. Please don't forget about sharing and get your questions mm. ready. You have question time in this Bible study. It's interactive. So maybe you have been reading your Bible or maybe you have been talking to some friends or maybe you have been tuned in to TV or radio or maybe you, are, you saw something on social media you want to know more or light through on it. When, when the time comes, you know, we let you know so you can, you can throw your questions and then we can deliberate together and share together with all our viewers from all over the world. I tell you, you are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. And you are in the best place to be even right now for Bible study and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go before the Lord and begin to exalt the name of Jehovah. Our God is mighty, is able, is eternal. He can do all things and He will do all things. Let's appreciate God for bringing us here again to this service. The psalmist says, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Let's begin to thank him in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord, for you. Thank you, Give up all the praise for your honor. Study, we, we absolutely glory, bless and worship you, Lord, and adore you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness, for your you mercy. There's not a gun to you, there's not besides you. For doing us the grace to be here again today. My Father, we bless and worship you. The first Wednesday, my Father, in this month, my Father, in this month, we bless and worship you. And I adore you, so thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. 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 Thank you, Master
Let's go before God and confess all our sins. The Bible says, if we regard iniquity in us, the Lord will not hear us. Father, wash me clean. Let's begin to pray in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we ask for your fresh power. We pray, oh God, you will wash us clean. What the blood that is in the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Let's ask for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Let's tell God that I want to have an encounter with you. Holy Ghost, touch me, oh God. Let's begin to cry out to God. Father Jehovah, I want to have an encounter with you. I want to see you. Holy Ghost, touch me. Holy Ghost, touch me. Holy Ghost, touch me. Jesus' name we pray. Let's tell God, Lord, breathe upon me tonight, oh God. Lord, let your word touch me tonight. Let's begin to cry out to God. Father Jehovah, I pray, oh God, you breathe upon us tonight. Let us see you, oh God, as our encounter with you. Holy Ghost, touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me. Oh, Rabo, Shadarabo, Satan. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's put our God, Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to me. Let me have an encounter with you. Touch me, oh God, touch me, oh God, touch me, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, King of glory. Mante Cora, my hand, and the Holy Ghost, touch us, touch us, touch us. Holy Ghost, let me see you, oh God. In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. Amen. Let's pull down every stronghold of the enemy, every distracting spirit, every power of darkness. Let's bind them, let's cut them to the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus. Father, we take the authority that is in the name of this. We come against every principality and power. We pull down every stronghold of the enemy. Magados, Kadarabos, Kadar, every territory has been for rebuke for destroy. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Patient of this, we thank you one more time. We say, Be magnified, O God, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, have your way. Do the unusual. Amen. Glorify yourself, O God. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Once again, if you are joining us, you are welcome to Interactive Bible Study, mm. where we study the Word of God to show ourselves approved of God, and God will continue to bless us in Jesus' name. Mm. And it's an interactive. If you're not shared already, please continue to share, and God will bless you and prosper you and more mm. others. So share on your Facebook page, share on your timeline, share within the groups you belong to, those who are on Facebook, and if you're on YouTube, please copy the link and share on all the social media links you belong to, and God will bless you and prosper you. And it's interactive, it's question, it's all. I tell you, it's dynamic, you will be blessed. So stay tuned and God will bless you and work his wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Right now we want to go and praise and worship God in the beauty of holiness. Let's join together, join the choir together. We will praise God and worship him. I tell you, your life shall never remain. Let's join. It's not entertainment. It's they are leading us to worship God. So let's worship God together and God will bless you. Amen. And we'll see you on the other side of this place and worship and God will bless you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So worship the word of God right now and say hallelujah to you, God. Hey. Blessed Jesus, we come to give you praise. You are worthy and blessed be your name. Blessed Jesus, we come to give you praise. Oh, you are worthy and blessed be your name. Sing again, take. Blessed Jesus.
is worthy to be praised, yes. is worthy to be adored, is worthy to be magnified. Yes. Let's begin to exalt His holy name. Thank you, we thank you, we worship you, we adore thank you. Thank you, Master. Hallowed be your name, O God. Hallowed be your name, O God. Hallowed be your name, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, dear God, Lord, touch me tonight, O God. I want to see you, O God. Mm. Even like never before, let's begin yes. to pray in Jesus' name. Father, I pray, O oh God, God, you will like touch me. Never before. Father, touch, touch, touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me. I want Lord, to see you. Don't let me come in vain, O God. My daily, my power, my body, Touch us, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, dear God, Lord, I want to understand your word. Holy Spirit, teach me your word, O oh God. Lord, illuminate your word in my heart, O oh God. Let's begin to pray. Father, Father Lord, Lord, I want to see you. Father, illuminate your word in my life. Let me word. see you, O oh God. Let me see you, O 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 God. Let me see you
we ask that your word to meet us at the very point of our need, have your way to yourself, your word, meet us, meet us, meet us, meet us, at the very point of our need, meet us, 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 in Jesus' name we pray, I want us to pray and tell God our Lord, let your word illuminate my life, the word I will hear today, Lord, let it illuminate my life, let it just let your word illuminate my life. Your word, your word, your word, your word, your word illuminate, 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 illuminate my life. Touch my life. Touch my life. Illuminate. Touch. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. And us we pray and tell you, Lord, whatever power doesn't want me, that doesn't want me to be blessed to your word tonight. Let your word put them in bondage. Let's begin to pray. Let your word put them in bondage. We bind them, cast them to hell. We bind them with your word. In the name of Jesus, we bind them, cast to hell. Have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's tell God, Jehovah Lord, let your word deliver me tonight. He sent for this word and he healed them and gave them all their destruction. Let the word of God deliver me tonight. Let's begin to cry out to God. Father, we pray tonight, oh God, that your word will deliver tonight. Father, deliver me by the power that is in the world. Marike zumbele rebeski yandere bokozia Malike zekende ne moshkandalia Jesus name we pray Amen Touch me oh God by the power that is in the world Touch me, O oh God, by the power that is in the world. Let's begin to pray. My Father, Father come before you. Touch us, 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 Give me every distracting spirit, every spirit I want to stop. Lord, I bind a castle. Let's begin to pray. Father, Just, my Father, whatever power and authority, my Father, I, I want to distract me. I don't want me to be blamed. My Father, I, I come against them. I put them down. I destroy. I demolish. Right now. Right now. Right now. Demolish. 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 Have your way. Have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. And just repeat that, Lord, let me learn something new in your word today. Let's begin to pray. Just, Father, I come before you. Let me learn something new in your word today. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me, teach me, teach me, teach me, teach me. Come here, come to grace. You know what? Teach us, teach us, teach us, teach us. In Jesus' name we pray. And let your word uproot every impartation of the enemy in my life. Let your word uproot. Let's begin to pray. Just let your word seek and uproot every impartation of the enemy in my life. Uproot, uproot, uproot. Every word of flesh, every word of the flesh. Uproot, uproot, by fire. 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 Uproot, uproot. Have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Let's tell God, Jehovah Lord, do a new thing through your word in my life tonight. Father, do a new thing through your word in my life tonight. Let's begin to cry out. Father, I come before you. Do a new thing through your word. Do a new thing. Do a great thing through your word. Do a new thing. A new thing. A new thing. A great thing. A mighty thing. A wonderful thing. I Father, begin to do, 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 do a new thing. 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 Have your way. 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 Do a new thing. 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 Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Amen. The fire that is in the word of God touch my life tonight. The fire that's in the word of God, touch me. Let's begin to cry out. Father, we declare the fire in your word. Touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me. The fire in your word, I declare, touch, touch, touch me. What is that? Touch me, touch me. The fire in your word, I declare, touch, touch. The fire in your word, touch me. What is that? Spirit, touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me. The fire in your word, the power in your word, the grace in your word, my Father, touch me. I declare, touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me. Amen. Lord, let the word of God change my life for. A new beginning. Yes, Lord. Let the word of God quicken me, O oh God, and change my life for a miracle. Let's begin to pray. Father, 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 touch my life and change my life for a miracle. For signs, wonders, and miracles. Let your word touch me. Quicken me. Touch me. Do a new work. Have your way. Your word. Your word is yea and amen. Touch me. Quicken me. Transform me. Have your way. 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 Amen. Father, we thank, we bless, we glorify Amen. you. We give you all the praise, glory, honor. Our fellow king, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Mighty Father, we have made our prayers unto you. Mighty Father, touch us in Jesus' name. Amen. Transform our lives in Jesus' name. Mighty Father, let your glory shine in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. We come against every evil work of the enemy and we bind, we cut it to hell in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have your way, Lord. Mighty Father, the road is clear for us to land at your feet. 
We shall learn today. We shall be taught by you. Mm -hmm. And we shall gain something today mm -hmm. that will transform our lives. Mm -hmm. Thank you that we bless you. Mm -hmm. We give you all the praise. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. Amen. 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 And once again, you are welcome to Bible study online. This is an interactive Bible study where we share the word together. Iron, sharpen it, iron, the Bible says. So we are, we are happy you are able to join us. But please do us a favor. Do us a favor. Let's invite as many people as possible. Do us a favor. We are on Facebook. That is our Facebook address. So if you are watching us via Facebook, invite everyone on your Facebook page. Invite everyone on your timeline mm -hmm. and share and invite within the groups you belong to and God will bless you. And if you are watching us via Facebook, YouTube our channel, please, please also copy the link and send it through social media links, social media platforms you are on so that we can all join together. It's very good for us to come together and learn from the word of God Amen. and God will help us and uphold us and bless us mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Amen, y'all. Welcome in the name of the Lord. God bless you. Get your Bibles and your writing pad yes. and be a part of this Bible study. This is life and God will bless every life in Jesus' name. As you know, our topic is, the what we're talking about, is the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God. How we can put it on, how it's affecting on us, and other things regarding the, the whole armor of God. So join us, and God will work His wonders and miracles, and tell your life shall never remain the same again. Mm -hmm. If you're not seeing anyone, please call them, let us all join together, and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll be taking reading from Ephesians chapter 6, from verses 10 to 16. Ephesians 6. 10 to 16, and it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand we stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having gathered your ways with, tr with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness. And having shod your feet, your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, I will take in the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Amen, 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 amen. Father, we thank you, bless you, glorify you. Amen. As you're going to want to go with us, speak to us. Let amen. your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord, we bless and worship amen. you. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Right now, I want to do a summary of what we've been talking about. I think the summary can begin to put in your questions, and God will bless you. And we do that in the name of Jesus. And your God will begin to do a great work amen. and a mighty work, even in your life. So we pick up your questions so you can, as we are doing it, put in your questions either on Facebook or on YouTube, and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 10 says of Ephesians 6, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The Bible is saying, as children of God, we must be strong in the power and the might of God. In other words, we must not be weak spiritually. We must not mm. be weak. That is, we must be, we must, we must, we must be strong in the power of God. And this will only come by us being as I mean as by us asking God for more of him and none of ourselves. And the grace to be empowered we receive right now in Jesus' name. And then it says again, I put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. That one of the ways that you can stand against the wise of the devil is by putting up is the whole armor. That is, we are wearing it. It's the armor that we are wearing. When you wear this whole armor, as I've been discussing so far, you know what? You have to start against the schemes, the whites, and the plans of the enemy. That is the only way you'll be able to defeat and defend yourself and defeat the enemy. And God give us the grace to be able to put on the whole armor of God. Verse 12 says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers of wickedness in high places. The Bible is saying that we need to realize that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. In other words, we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against powers of darkness. That's why you cannot fight spiritual battle physically. How do we fight these battles? Is by going on our knees, by praying. That is by crying out to God that God should deliver us from the power of darkness. And I pray may we be empowered to overcome the enemy in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. And it says again that having showed your feet 
with we have to do it with the preparation of the gospel of peace. That is, we need to put on um, the spiritual shoes. And God will help us. Thirteen. You can therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand with stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. So the word of God is saying us that we should take up the whole armor of God. When you take it up, it's very from where it is. So when you take up the whole armor of God, mm-hmm. you will stand in the evil day because yes. the evil day will come. But one of the ways by which we can stand and stand and don't fall and stand in the evil day is by putting taking up the whole armor of God. And God will help us to take it up in Jesus' name. And verse fourteen says, "Stand therefore," that is. We don't have a choice as a child mm-hmm. of God and to stand. Yes. So, so having gathered your waist with the truth, the Bible says we will know the truth and the truth will set us free. So we should make a stand and then make sure we are walking in the truth. Yes, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, in the, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, in other words, we should be walking in the truth. We will know the truth and the truth will set us free. So the truth that we know, we should walk in that truth. And God will help us in Jesus' name. As you have ensured your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, every time, anywhere we go to, we have to be carrying the gospel of peace. Mm. <coughs> not the gospel of sin, not the gospel of hatred, or the gospel of malice, or the gospel of vengeance, but the gospel of peace. Because Christ is the Christ is the Prince of Peace, and God is the God of Peace. So we need to promulgate that peace anywhere we go to, even in our behavior, and our going and coming in. We need to be prepared and go out there and preach the gospel of peace. The gospel of peace is not a gospel by by force, by force, taking a hammer and knocking on the heads. No, the gospel of peace is just preaching Christ and the Holy Ghost doing the rest. And God will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I think that's where we stop today. We're going to go into verse 16. But before then, if you have any questions, maybe you are reading your Bible, or maybe you are you are reading your Bible, or maybe you are discussing with some friends and they said some things, you want some correction on it's question time. So you can put in your questions either on our Facebook page, sorry, our Facebook as you are watching, or on YouTube, on the platform, and they'll be able to pick it up. So throw in your questions. As I said before, you are reading the word of God and you don't understand what you read and you need clarification on the verse of the chapter you read, you can put it in. Or maybe you 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 are talking to some friends and you are talking or discussing about a heated topic. You want to know more, to throw light on it, you can do that also. Or maybe you are you are listening to the Christian radio or TV and they said something, you saw something and you want some clarification also. Or maybe it was even social media. You know everybody's social media now. So something on social media, you want some clarification or you read something on social media. You want some permission? Let's do that now, and God will bless us and uphold us as we do that in the name of Jesus. So you can send in your questions, and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. We love you when you have questions. That shows that you are growing and you're reading the Word of God and you are moving ahead. So send in your questions, and if somebody has sent in the question, don't worry. Send in your own. We still pick it up and see it. So we don't need to be waiting for you as you are typing. So quickly be typing your questions now. I'm sending it one by one, tongue by tongue, and God will bless you as you put in your questions in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are just joining us, this is a live broadcast. Yes. From Body of Christ Christian Center. It's a live broadcast of um, Bible study. Be a part of this. God will bless you in Jesus' name. You are now watching by accident or by divine appointment. And God will begin to work His wonders and miracles. Amen. Let's invite all our friends that you have not seen on. Let's invite them and God will bless you. Even mm-hmm. if you are a silent watcher or viewer, Let's see you today. When I say see you, type something. Let's see you come out of hiding. Let's see you today. We appreciate you watching with, watching us on the background. God will bless you. But let's see you today. And God will honor you in Jesus. I said, throw in your questions. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have a question already from Brother John. It says, Psalm 63 verse 11 says, But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall glory. But the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped. What does everyone who swears by him shall glory mean? I would say when the Bible says what does sorry, when the Bible says everyone that swears by him shall glory, that is everyone that will stand by God. Mm. Because I guess if you read other versions, it's gonna tell you something like that. That is it's talking about those who will stand with God no matter what. They are standing. Yes. That is, they will never doubt God. Mm. They are the ones that will say, you know, regardless of whatever they are going through, whether persecution or anything, they are making their stand. Mm. And the grace to make our stand, may God give it to us in Jesus' name. But we can actually check out other versions. Okay, that's, also, that's what it means. That Yes, also that uh, they are taking their stand. 
not necessarily swearing by God, but they are taking their stand that I trust my God will not let me down. <laughs> I stand on my God, just as the three Hebrew boys said that. Look, our God can deliver us even from this fire. So they stood by their God and they knew that their God would deliver them. And what happened? They, their God delivered them. Look at Anna. Anna going to the temple every year. She knew that one day her God would answer her. So she mm. stood by her God. There was no day during the year she went to Shiloh that the Bible said that she stayed behind. She went every year standing by her God, knowing that this my God will work a miracle. This my God will see me through. This my God will deliver me. This my God will answer me. And also that's how you are supposed to do as Christians. You must swear by our God by saying that I stand by his word. If he says it, he will do it. If he declares it, he will bring it to pass. It's not a man that he should lie. That's not a man that should repent. So saying that you are standing by the word, you are swearing by the word, you are doing that my God would never fail me. He will never leave me. He will never forsake him. He will work his wonders and miracles even in every life and destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Most of the Bibles actually use the word fear but mm -hmm. contemporary English version said because of you are God the king celebrates with your faithful followers but liars will be silent. Yes. English revised version said but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone sorry. Sorry. God, good news translation says because God gives him victory, the king will rejoice. Those who make promises in God's name will praise him. Exactly. But the mouth of liars will be shut. So it's just and then this one says, God's word translation says, God's word translation, but the king will find joy in God. Everyone who takes an oath by God will brag, but the mouth of liars will be shut. And that one says, but as for the king, he will rejoice in God indeed. Uh, okay, it's the same thing. So it's just talking the same thing that we are Trusting God, believing God for great things, mm. and this God will do great things even in our lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I believe that answers the question. But God bless you. Thank you very much for your question, and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody else, you want to do something else? Mm -mm. Somebody else has a question, and it says, When we are reading the Bible on our own alone, is it good for us to be reading it loud? Out. Or reading it in our own minds, ever so as we, even as we are alone. If you are alone and you can read, there's no law, but it's good to read the Bible to me personally. That's my personal opinion. The Bible quietly to yourself because you can focus. Because somebody can be reading something and their mind be somewhere else. You understand? So when you read, you read to your mind, you read. You still want to declare. Now, if you want to declare the word of God, you declare it openly and broadly. That for the word of God says, Wherever the souls of my fish are tread, I will possess. And you can say that boldly and declare it boldly. But I believe that when you are reading the Bible, except maybe you are reading in church, as when Jesus went to the synagogue and he read that. But usually, if you look at the Yes, look at the uh, Ethiopia Enoch. He was reading to himself, the Bible says. And then the Spirit told Philip, go and meet him. And he asked the man, do you understand what you are reading? It was the Spirit of God that made Philip understand that this guy was reading the Word of God. And he got there and reading Isaiah. So he began from there. So I believe that usually when you are on your own, you can read the Word of God. It's not a fast rule. You can read the Word of God on your own. But when it comes to declaration, maybe you are praying to declare the Word, then you can declare it openly, boldly, and then, just as Paul said, I said to you, rise and walk. And the man rose up and began to walk. So, I believe when it comes to declaration, you speak it boldly. But when it comes to study, study, just like if you want to go to school and you are studying your, your whatever you are reading, you don't read it aloud. You read it within yourself and you understand and you assimilate and you get it better. So may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Just welcome what Pastor said. There's no fast rule about yes. it. As long as you're not disturbing anybody. Mm -hmm. If when you read, it's only when you read it out, you actually get what the scripture is saying. And since you are by yourself, read it to yourself. Of course. You can read it out loud and you can actually, but as on the average, the average reader is always reading to themselves. But if you have to, like, I remember my grandmother, when she's reading her Bible, she can't keep quiet and read. Mm -hmm. And I remember I said, why do you always read that? She said, so some people, mm -hmm. that's how they get whatever they are reading. Mm -hmm. Maybe because not their first language mm -hmm. or for any reason. Mm -hmm. Some people just read and they are reading, they are reading out loud. If that is you, as long as you are reading Bible. Yes, so 
So God will help us in the name of Jesus and I'll be there to answer some questions and God will help you in Jesus' name. So as Father said, if you are alone, if you want to read a lot, if you are comfortable, mm -hmm. if not, you want to read low. But when you are with other people, you don't need them, so they won't disturb them, so they won't get annoyed. So that when you preach to them, so if you're not Christian, when you preach to them, they will not say, you want me to be like you, disturbing everybody everywhere. So may God help us in the name of Jesus. Verse, I sorry. Sure. Since certain they say, what about those people walking in the armor of God that doesn't go to the urban list place and they are still having challenges? What will happen? Ah, sister, the Bible did not promise that we won't have issues to deal mm -hmm. with. But you see, those issues or those problems or challenges that we go through in life, at the end of the day, it will only make us better. The Bible says, all things work together for good. For those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Yes, in life, even yes, you are sleeping in the church, there can still be issues to deal with. Yes, and everybody has got issues to deal with. That's why Bible says, Many are the afflictions of, of the, the righteous, righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out, out of, of them, them all. The Bible says, A righteous man is the one that is putting on the whole armor of God. The Bible says, The righteous man falls seven times, and the Bible says, He will get up. Mm. Yeah, I've fallen seven times. Then that's why the next scripture will fall in. <laughs> Many are the, the afflictions. afflictions of the righteous. But one thing I've come to realize in this life is this. If as a human being you don't even have anything to deal with, I guess if that person is growing. Because how would you know that the word, that the word of God works mm. if there's nothing to deal with? And I would say, those who are just saying, you know what, I don't want problem or no problem. Everything just rosy, rosy. Mm. Check it out. I doubt if they are fulfilling destiny. Mm. Because it is one problem that you solve will take you to the next level. The next one you solve will take you to the next level. So to be honest with you, prob a problem is beautiful. It makes us, number one, it drives us to God. We know mm. God better. We have more faith in God. And then we will not be too relaxed. Because let's be real. If for 15, 20 years, nothing and everything is just... Rosy. <laughs> may somebody not be... On another lane. Mm. So problems is is just to sharpen us. Yes. Make us believe God. Make us grow. Make us stronger in God. Problems are not meant to diminish us. Mm -mm. They are meant to make us pump, 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 pump. Mm. To grow. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And that's why you see we as Christians. You no, know, let me tell you something. My sister, God did not promise us, or Jesus did not promise us a... a Trouble-free life. Trouble-free, that's what. Trouble-free life. He says in his word, I think in John 16, 24, in this word, you have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I, the Lord, has overcome the world, mm. pray for you and I. So, that's why the Bible says, Pastor said, many are the afflictions of the righteous. So, it doesn't mean that because you are putting on the armor, whole armor of God, to defend or to stand, and we stand in the evil day. Now, the Bible says there, as because of what you say, where you took it from, it said that, therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the, the evil, evil day. day. So it means that evil day will come. Mm. It didn't say putting on the arm of God will prevent the evil day from coming. So it's saying that we must be prepared for the evil day. So mm. there's no prayer that anyone will pray that, Lord, you are the master. There's nothing that is too difficult for you. Lord, let me live a problem-free life. That is not possible. You understand? Because if you live a problem-free life, where would the testimonies come in? Yeah. Where would you know that this God is a God that can deliver and save and set free? Mm. How would you know the wonder-working power of God? Mm. If the Hebrew, if the Hebrew people, the Israelites, were not at the Red Sea, how would they have known that this God can open the Red Sea? Mm. So you see, the things that we go through is showing the power of God himself, that this God can do and undo. There's nothing that comes to God by surprise. So, challenges are good for a Christian. It doesn't mean that because you are a Christian or because you change from one religion to another and you become a Christian and then you are thinking that, and they told me it will be, be problem-free. Christianity is not problem-free. It is problem overcoming. You overcome problems, mm. not problem free. So and that's what Christianity is about. So but still put on the whole armor because you need it to stand against the words of the devil and to stand in the evil day. I may God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if you are yes, yes, as a believer out there, don't let anybody run you down. Yes, sir. Because you are going through any issue of mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Don't mind them. Don't mind you know them. Some people, when, when anybody is going through it, oh, she's a sinner. He's a sinner. Oh, he has offended God. 
Mm. They will always look for something. something. Did Daniel, did you offend God? No. The three Hebrew men, did they offend? No. So don't let anybody's comments. Mm. You know, some people, when you are going through, the way they will look at you mm. as if stupid fellow. Mm. Why won't this one go through? Mm. Don't mind them. Just ignore them. You know what? You'll just be waiting for your day of testimony mm. because God will give you words to answer your enemies. That's why I don't mind who is mocking you. Mm. Like, like somebody said, look, if you are mocking somebody because they have a problem, do you know what is waiting for you too? Mm. That's why if you cannot help people that are in problem, keep quiet. Yes, sir. Because at the end of the day, we will all go through one thing or the other. Some people, they believe that when you are going through anything, ah, you are a sinner, now, hey, you are a bad person. No. Like I would say, since I've been living, I would say the worst problem I've been through in my life, it was the time I was so close to God. By grace, I'm still close to God. And I'm thinking, what is this? How do I explain this? Mm. But at the end of the day, when I look back, I say, Jesus, thank you for problems. You. Because without problems, how can you get sharp in the spirit? How do you know who you are? Because many times we tend to settle for where we are. Mm. And then something will just come. And then you now say, oh my God, I can live more than this. So sister, whatever you are going through, anybody else here, begin to rejoice. Because at the end of the day, that problem... That challenge, that issue, we only birth a miracle. That's why every trial we live it, we live, we, we lead to a testimony. Yes, every test we lead to a testimony. Every mess we lead to a miracle. That's why don't mind them or just focus, be on your leg. Even in the because you can say, ah, but Lord, I'm doing everything. Then what is the matter? What is wrong? Don't worry. Don't worry. The mighty God. The able God, the one who will never forget, the one who says I will never leave you nor forsake you. Mm. You know what? He will come through for you. Just keep on looking unto God and it will come through. Amen. Amen. It will come through for you. And then also you put something there. Please never go and visit a herbalist or native doctor. God forbid. Don't go and meet anyone in mm -hmm. any other religion that says that they will put through for you. They will do the God is not a magician. Mm -hmm. When it comes to God, when it comes to Christ, mm. it takes time. God is not a magician. Mm. You understand? Maybe somebody's out there believing God for a baby mm. or for a husband or for healing or for job or for breakthrough mm. or for passing, whatever um, they are undergoing. You know what? It takes time. If you can endure, when you look at the Bible, nobody in the Bible just mm. had things overnight. Not Jacob, not Abraham, not Isaac, not Anna, not Elizabeth. All of them, as we mentioned, one by one, they did not just have things overnight. Daniel did not just get there overnight. He had to pass through ups mm. and downs. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they did not just get to the top at night. Overnight, they had to pass through. It's a process. So everything is a process. Don't let anybody say, ah, I know one man somewhere. I know one man somewhere. They don't see the sun. And you see, their eyes are in. They, they, they haven't eaten for the last 100 years. Yes. Come, ah, if they say something like this, your life will turn around. God does not work that way. It takes time. So may God help us and let us endure and hold on to God. And God will uphold us in the name of Jesus. So that means whatever we are going through, it's a process. Mm. I've realized that in life, when there's an issue to deal with, God can decide. Yes. To just, bam, pick you out. Yes, sir. And say, oh, hallelujah. And there are some, God will allow you to go through it. Mm. Because it's a process. Yes, sir. God wants to wants you to be built up. Yes. And that's why whatever it is, just know for sure, hmm. it's working out for your good in yes. Jesus' name. So don't run out of sky town. Don't be running from one prophet to the other. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. Stay put. Mm -hmm. I've realized one thing. If there is a problem that God wants you to actually, anything that God will allow in a believer's life, mm -hmm. fast for 110 days, no food, no water, if you can. If you like, be sleeping in the church. If it has been ordained that you are passing through that thing. You're because passing. when you are passing through that thing, God will be working in you. Mm. He will be pruning you. He will be changing your life. He will be building your faith. And by the time you look back, say, my God. That is a God in heaven. Yes. Amen. Amen. God will help us in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. And God will uphold us. So stay put with God. Yes. And God will work in me. Somebody wrote on YouTube. Amen and amen. With God, all things are possible. Oh, yes. In His timing is the best. It is the best time. It's the best. The timing is the best, right? Mm. The timing of God is the best time. Mm -hmm. And may God help us in the name amen. of Jesus. And God will uphold us. Let, let us also trust in the process in the name of 
Jesus Almighty. Yes. So may God help us in the name of Jesus mm. and God uphold us and God would work his wonders and miracles even in our lives and destinies in the mm. name of Jesus. Somebody asked a question also said, Daddy, Mommy, please, I have questions. If someone is not going to church because he never see good church, that is that is good for him and he, uh, he believes in God and he prays, you know, we need to go to church. No church is perfect. Mm -hmm. When John wrote to the seven churches in the in Revelation in Asia, mm -hmm. there was no perfect church. So there's no perfect church in this world. If you are looking for a perfect church, my brother or my sister, the only perfect church we have is in heaven. Here on earth, as long as it's human beings. Even mm. angels cannot have perfect church. Because if angels could have perfect church, then they won't be called, they won't be people, who, angels who are called fallen angels. They have not the ones that follow Lucifer and Co. There are some other ones that are fallen angels. So they won't be so nobody is perfect except God. Mm. So no church is perfect. We are all striving through perfection and why am i saying this that you you don't go to a church looking for are they singing perfectly are they clapping perfectly are they singing with the right key is the pastor preaching or not are they joking or not to go there i know sometimes i said except your spirit says get out that is a different case you can now get that because god sees that you know be able to cope with whatever is there but as long as you know they are calling on the name of god you understand because sometimes people travel and sometimes it's very difficult to get a church to go to. For example, now somebody travels to, let's say, example, Italy, or or Italy, or a town in UK, and the only church there in UK is Church of England there, or the only church in, in Italy that you go there is maybe like a Catholic church or something like that. <laughs> so what do you now do? At least you know your God. Once you are born again, I mean, once you are born again, once you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you know your stand in God, you know the Bible very well. Because the Bible says, not forsaking the gathering of the saints. And let me tell you something. There's no church that someone will go to. I'm not talking about now churches that are doctrine wrong or churches that are turning the Bible upside down. I'm talking at least normal churches. I'm talking about normal churches. You know, there is something that you will gain there. There's something you will hear there. There's something you will see there. There's something you will receive there that will touch you and transform your life. And also, maybe God took you there to see that. So maybe as you go along, you may pray for the church, for them to be what God wants them to be. Amen. And then in addition, yes, there's no perfect church. But the thing is this, if somebody is in a place and they are not growing, you notice you are not growing at all. You can prayerfully tell God and say, Father, I want to grow. And then God will lead you mm. to where you can grow. grow. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Even if you go to any church, go to, I don't know which church I want to mention now. There's no perfect church. But at the end of the day, Baptist is looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes. Because if you are living in a place and there's only one church, mm. and in that yes. church they don't even know how to sing, even when the platform we want to preach, they don't even know how to preach. You still have to manage what you have yes. and then now develop yourself. Exactly. Well, do you know even when we go to church, you'll be surprised. If somebody is going to church every day, they are not reading them, their Bibles themselves, they are not praying themselves, they are not living right. They are, they, to me, they are, they can, to, to be honest, they are just like an unbeliever too. Yes, so sir. I would say when we go to church, what we get is not 100%. Hmm. You will just get like a guideline. It's like somebody in uni. If somebody is in university, you are in level one, level two, level three. Check out those lecturers when they come. They will just give a brief summary. Today we are teaching this. They will just outline it. Even they will be reading it for you. Mm. And you are thinking, explain this thing. They will just be. They will. They will just read, read, read. Anyway, and we have a um, reading list. <laughs> Go into your reading list. And do this, do that. So they expect you. So when you go to the classroom, at least in this world that I know, I mean this nation, they are only giving you maybe ten percent. To if you are, if they are giving you assignment, go and write two thousand five hundred words. If you only copy what they said in class, you will get zero <laughs> because those things will just be outlined like that. It that cannot pass you. They will say you did not understand whatever you've been taught. Of course, they expect you to go back just mm. like the Christians. Yes. This Bible says. 
and the and, and the Christians in Thess Vera. yeah they were, they were more noble than the Thessalonians. Yes, yes. When they hear anything, they will go back and check it. So, so of course it's good to go to a lively, to a beautiful church. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a choice, mm -hmm. you manage what you have of as course. long as they are not calling on the devil of course. and they are not putting things together. Mm -hmm. You manage what you have, and then you not behave like a university student. Ask any university student when you go, they'll just teach you. Pan. Huh, huh. And in my head, I'm thinking, is this what people are being paid for to do? They will just do this. Pim, pim. They are gone. You will now go and begin to do research by yourself. Begin to do everything by yourself. Get, make sure you understand whatever you are being taught. And that's it. So also it's church too. That, that's my easiest example. So church, you might not really, really like it too much. But you know what? And then never go to a church and be looking for mm -hmm. perfection. What is wrong here? The ushers are just smiling. They are not smiling. They are chukundi. Oh, this one. No, 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 no. Just go. Whatever little they give you, take it. Go and work on yourself. I mean, but somebody says that. One pastor once said that if you are looking for a perfect church and then by chance you find one, the moment you join them, it has become imperfect because you are a human being yes. and already bringing imperfection. Yes, it is so. true. So don't be part of that. So God will help us. So mm. no church is perfect. Just mm. as you said before, if you are in a place, many people are now, many people like in Africa, they went to a vibrant church, Pentecostal church, fire, 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 and coming to Europe or other countries, they see that there's no church as such around them. But you see, because the Bible says, do not forsake the guy, you can join them at least mm. until the point in time that God will bring you up or you move again mm. and you find another church that mm. suits what you have. But there's no perfect church. So let's still go to church, worship God mm. in the beauty of holiness and upholding, and God will work wonders in our lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. Amen. I was thinking in my head, do you know, as a believer, you should, you, you should get to a point that if you get into a place that's the only church that is there, you will still be able to cope and you will still be growing spiritually. It shows that even you yourself, you know God personally and you are growing every day. Yes. Because if somebody will say, okay, oh, I'm, okay, look at it this way. Some churches all they do in the Sunday, mm -hmm. it's only one hour. One and a half hours. And you'll be shocked when you see some of their members. My God, they can be very outstanding. Mm -hmm. They will read books, they know their Bible, they pray, they you know they are living right. And some people are sleeping in church, spending seven hours every Sunday. And yeah, when you see them, they are worse than infidels. Mm -hmm. So may God help us in Jesus' name. I to be honest, I believe this Christian work is a personal work. Yes. It's a personal work. God forbid though, may we not have a sinner as a pastor. Mm -hmm. If a sinner, I'm sorry to use that word. If a sinner is leading a church that one is in, it doesn't mean that you have to be a sinner. Of course. Of course. Of, or, even though the Bible did not want us to, I mean, the Bible did not want any pastor to be a sinner. Of but course. But peradventure, because there are some pastors who are not born again and who are pastoring. Of course. So are we not going to, because I say, oh, no. No. You go, and why, like my, like, like my motto, mind your business. Know why you are in church. Make sure you are building up yourself spiritually. And that's it. And God will help us in your I think you understand that question. And God will help us. There's one question that we combine both together okay. because I've seen that it's both. The first one is that Numbers 21. Miriam died. Is it because of sin or because there was no water to drink? And then I want to combine it with the other one. Why Moses and Aaron did not why Moses did not pray to God when they discovered that no water to drink in that place? Okay, okay, it's a different okay, it's a different. So let's do that. Let's do this one first. Mariam died. Is it because of sin or because they were, there was no water? She died because... It's not joy. <laughs> yeah, they died because, um, the, number one, because of the unbelief of all the Israelites. And number two, because of what they said to Moses. And God said that they were because of, because of sin, not because of water. God gave them water in the end. Nobody died, nobody died out of hunger or water while they were in the wilderness. No one died out of water. They were grumbling because of water, but did not die out of thirst. They were grumbling because of food, but did not die out of hunger. They were grumbling because of, of, of meat, they did not die out of malnutrition. So God made sure that they were very, very, very okay. It is sin that killed them all. Sin and disobedience. So that is why you see, if God has given somebody a promise and that person still persists in sin, that person may not, may not, I say again, may not get to where God wants them to be. Mm. Because God promised the Israelites that, look, as you are leaving Egypt, I'm taking you all to the promised land. 
And guess what? Only two people got to the promised land who are who are 20 years above, apart from Moses, uh, apart from Joshua and Caleb. None of them got there, even though God has promised them. So you see that disobedience and sin can block and stop the promises of God. And that's what affected Miriam also. It was because of the disobedience and all that. And God was cross with them and cross with her also. And that's why she was not able to get to the promise. And she died in the wilderness. I'm trying to see the scripture itself. So and the, and the, and so that's what happened. Miriam died because I think Miriam died because of becoming of the Jubilee. I think there's something like that in but I'm not sure, I can't remember. But she died not because of hunger or thirst, but she died because of um because of disobedience. Funny enough, the Bible yeah, let me read it. Numbers twenty one, it says, Then came the children of Israel, even the whole congregation into the desert of sin in the first month. And the people were born in Kadesh and Miriam died there. And was buried there. Before, when you go to where she spoke against Moses, I think there's something there that talks about that. Because God has told them that none of them would get to the promised land, including Moses himself and Aaron. And that's why they all died. That's why Aaron, they went to the mountain and they tore his garment and gave it to his son. Because God said they will never get to the promised land because of disobedience and all that. So that's one of the reasons why none of them got there, except even Moses did not get there also because of disobedience also. So they didn't get there. I was just looking at let's do. With okay, it. so you can say it, it's it's a collective punishment. Well, that's collective punishment. So of God allowed them to wander around for yes, forty years, yes. so that they all died there. Yes. Apart from the ones who were just twenty, and Joshua, uh, twenty below. years, yes, twenty, 20 years below. below. Yes. And then Joshua and Caleb. Yes. That's why the Bible says because the journey was meant to be forty days. No, we don't know how many days the journey was. They were forty days. In towering, okay, towering when, the spies. Okay, when and they began, for one day, okay. one, 40 years. Right. Mm, so that's why they were 40 days in spying out the land. And God said that for every day it should become one year. And that's why they came okay. 40 years that in the wilderness. That was their collective punishment. Collective punishment for every one of them. That's why they began to drop down and die one by one, one by one, because of disobedience and because they did not trust God. But that does not mean that they didn't fulfill the numbers of their days. Because if we look at it, Miriam was. Moses' brother. Sister. I saw it. Moses' sister. Mm. And I think she's the firstborn or secondborn. First, I think she's the firstborn. Firstborn. So obviously, by the time she will die, I'm sure she, she, she must be over 80. Of course, sir. Huh? Yes. Over, over 100 and something. Uh -huh. yes. so, so she didn't die like a baby. It was just that because God said, all of you... Um, God would have made them get to the promised land, Pastor. They were going to mm -hmm. the promised land, if not for disobedience and sin. Every one of them, no matter what their age may be, would I believe they would have got into the promised land. But because of disobedience, and because they did not trust God enough, and they kept murmuring and grumbling, and finally when it came to the report of the spies, they said that they, they will never get there. Their children will be the one. God said, according to what you have said, I will mm. do to you that the bodies will fall in the wilderness, and one by one, one by one, until the last man fell down. Down, and that's when they crossed the Jordan because that's why they did not get there mm -hmm. for so it took 40 years for every one of them to die which means that anyone who was 20 died at 60 because anyone who was 20 years old or 21 at 40 to each person they are 61 so they did not fulfill their number of days mm -hmm. so they all died so they all died because of disobedience and they died because they did not trust God and they died because they began to murmur against God so may we not murmur against God. May Amen. God help us and uphold us in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's why 1 Corinthians 10, 10. 1 Corinthians 10, 10 says, Neither, let me start from verse 9. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted. Yes, sir. And were destroyed of yes. serpents. Mm -hmm. Neither murmur ye, as some mm -hmm. of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Mm -hmm. 11. Now all these things happened unto them for examples. Yes. And they are written for, admon for, for admonition. admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. Yes. Wherefore, let him that thinketh is standard, take he it, lest it fall. He fall. Mm. So that is it. So may God help us in Jesus. That's why if we are promised career. I know many of us, are, many people are promised careers. Don't persist in sin. Don't be disobedient. Don't murmur. Don't grow up against God so that you can get to where God wants to take you. And may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And this other question. Why Moses and Aaron did not pray to God? Why did Moses and Aaron did not why and why Moses and Aaron did not pray to God when they discovered that no water to drink in that place? 
on the people and the people started grumbling. If you go and read that particular place, I think it's numbers, 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 numbers. If that's why if you see any scripture, don't just read one or two verses. You read from the beginning and read towards the end, and it will explain everything to you. Because there, yes, there was no water, and what did they do? They cried out, Ah, oh, we need water. Ah, oh, Moses, did you come to destroy us here? Yeah? And Moses looked up and God said, Stop you two. Go and do this. And two times, one God said, um, smite the rock with the rod, and the other one God said, speak to the rock. And both times, they were able to drink water. Amen. So they grumbled, and Moses prayed to God, and God brought the solution. Yes. And that is why you see, there's a difference between grumbling and asking, making a request. Grumbling may be a request, but when you make a request grumbling, that means mm -hmm. that you are blaming God. Okay, for example, you are believing God, somebody is believing God for a baby. Or a baby, let me use a baby, or a baby, let me use a baby. Okay, you are being, Lord, mm -hmm. Lord, help me. Lord, mm -hmm. I plead with you, I beg you, Lord, give me a baby, let me come pregnant. That's one, that's asking. But Lord, can't you see me? Don't you know I need a baby? I've been married for 10 years. What is happening to me? Lord, I'm sure you are the Lord. That is grumbling. Even though it's both, they are both asking, making a request, but one is grumbling and one is making a request. Now, their request, they were thirsty and they had a legitimate right to make a request. But they grumbled instead of making a request. And that's why God was angry with them. And that's why God told Moses, okay, Moses turned to God and Moses prayed and God gave him the divine instruction to bring water out of the rock. So you see, don't let us be grumbling, grumpy, grumpy. Let us, let us ask and we shall receive, seek and we shall find, and knock and the door that will open unto us in the name of Jesus. Just to back it up the scriptures, every time the children of Israel will complain, Moses will run to God yes, and so. he will pray. Mm. A good example is in Numbers 11, verse 1. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord, and the Lord heard it. And his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burnt among them, and consumed them that were in the camp. Okay. Were in the utmost parts of the camp. And the people cried unto Moses. And when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched. That was just an example mm. of when anytime the children of Israel will complain, the next thing Moses will do is he will look up yes, and say, Father, what these are do? your children. What do you what do we do? That's why the Bible says in Psalm 103, it says, The children of Israel, they knew the way and they knew the acts of, of God. God. But Moses knew the, the ways way of, of God. God. Psalm 103, verse. Verse, 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 verse. Yeah, verse, verse, verse 7. Psalm 103, 7 says, He made known His ways unto Moses and His acts unto the children of Israel. The children of Israel will say they are people of goody goody. Mm. We want food, though, they eat. We want the, all they know is the miraculous. But Moses knew God intimately. Yes. So may God help us in Jesus' name, that will, and that, that I believe that God will help us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. the most thing, no God, number one, don't grumble, make your request known to him. Yes, yeah, so... And Paul wrote it, make your request known to him without grumbling. Mm. I can't remember he wrote it, but he wrote it somewhere in one of these letters that, make your request known to God without grumbling. So mm. we should make our request known to God without grumbling, and God will uphold us in the name of Amen. Jesus. Somebody else has a question, and it says that Psalm 62 verse 11, I don't know what is there. Once I have spoken twice, have I had him all power belongs unto our God? Is it that one? I don't know. Psalm 62, verse 11. So when I Once saw, I spoken. So when I saw this verse, I was shocked. But I see that this is the thing that is a common common in the church. Yeah. When this one, when this come, what can we do if we overcome that thing? So Since God has spoken once. Psalm 62, verse 11. Mm -hmm. God has spoken once, twice have I had this, that power belonged, belongs unto to God. God. So, I don't so understand what maybe you, that's not the right verse you are looking for. for. Maybe, maybe. Check it very well. Maybe that, because that is God saying that. It's, the, the Bible is saying us what God is saying and it will come to pass mm. in the name of Jesus. And then I think that's, I think somebody, or somebody just wrote that the Israelites subtract themselves <laughs> with murmuring, disobedience, and unfaithfulness. I don't want to be, to... <laughs> <laughs> what did you say now? I don't want to say they deserve it, but... 
Ah, John, thou shalt not judge any man. Judge not. Amen, amen. Moses and Aaron turned away from the people and went to the entrance of the tabernacle where they fell, where they fell to the ground. Then the glorious presence of the Lord appeared unto them. That's what the Bible says in Numbers, Numbers 20. Numbers 20, verse 5, verse 6 and 8. And that's when they, so they went to speak to God. to God after the moment. So what Moses will do, he won't argue with them. He will just go to mm -hmm. God and speak with them. Mm. And may God help us in the name of Jesus. So I believe that that answers. I want to read it. That, no, no, that, no, no. That's what is there. Mm. So God that answers all the questions. So God will help us in the name of Jesus. God will uphold us. You know, we thank you all for putting those questions. And we thank you all. For your comments and your, your contributions, God will bless you all in Jesus' name. That's how we can grow spiritually mm -hmm. and know the Lord the more. May God uphold us mightily and marvelously to know him the more and do his will and follow him and pursue him and love the Lord. May God help us. You know, do you know what is flying in my head now? You know, person? every time um, the children of Israel will murmur against God, Moses and Aaron will run to God. And I believe this should be an example to us leaders. Because in churches, there will be people who will be troublemakers. All they want to do is cause problems, mama, complain about everything. We should not be answering them. Mm. Because, and do you know, because of these people of Israel, I mean, these people, that's why we should not make uh, the, promised the promised land. land yes, though. Because all the time, when they will, when they will mama, Moses will run to God. Mm. God, all your people. There was even a time God said, Moses, Enough of that. So I don't no, want to again. no, Moses. Uh, 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 God said, Moses, move away, move away. I want to destroy these people now, mm. and I'm going to raise another nation from you. Moses said, No, before you destroy them, destroy yeah, me too. Course. And God said, Okay, I won't destroy. And then one day, these people were murmuring again, and Moses couldn't take it anymore. Said, you stiff, naked, I mean, stiff, 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 naked people. Remember, God Himself called them stiff, naked people. And then one day, Moses couldn't take it again. You stiff neck people, you want to kill me? God said, hey, in your mouth. Who told you they are stiff neck people? That's why, even though, even that's why as pastors too, as leaders, maybe you are a choir leader, usher leader, this leader, instead of arguing with people, fighting with people, just go to God. When somebody will complain, okay, I've heard. Nobody calls silence, one pastor, nobody calls silence. You know, you'll be surprised when people, some leaders will stand with church members, they'll be arguing, they'll be trashing things out. Why are you wasting your time? They are not the one that called you now. And if it, yes, or if you are maybe a leader in the church, the, the people did not appoint you. Every appointment we have in church, I believe it is because the hand of God is there. So when anybody is complaining and murmuring and, you know, when people will complain behind you, they will backbite you. They will come to your front too and then begin to run their mouth. Just be very calm. That's why as leaders, if care is not taken, what will become like church members? Mm. And that's the truth. That, so that means, God forbid, when uh, members of Osha are fighting Osha leader, mm. and Osha leader is answering, they become the, the same, same level. Yeah. When, uh, as we've seen it in the past, church member will be fighting pastor. And pastor too will be, the, even there is even a point that people were fighting. Pastors and church members, they were fighting in this, in this London, that they have to call in the police. In this London. Mm -hmm. So that means we must get to a place where we have the fruit of the Spirit. We must have the fruit of the Spirit. So that no matter what, when there is an issue, we take it to the one who has called us. That's why you don't owe men explanation. And may God help us in Jesus' name. And may God uphold us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. People, not, people not make pastors or Christians make mistakes. As far as I said, um, people were the one that made Moses make a mistake. Yeah, so but funny enough, when you look at it, after the people had done the calf <laughs> and and Moses was annoyed, read the Bible very well. Do you know that God did not call Israel my people again? Hmm. Read it very well. He told Moses, take your people. Now, <laughs> God's <laughs> people became Moses' people. So Moses the, body, <laughs> the body became so heavy on Moses. When you look at the story of Moses, we can see that this guy, out of, uh, of almost 3 million people, this guy was trying to manage them. And when they did the calf, Moses prayed, don't destroy them, don't do this. And after that, 
God said, okay, I'm not going with you. You go with your, your people. people. Bible, anyway, it says that. Your people. Mm. Now, from that point on, God did not call them his people anymore. Mm. He called them your people. And why am I saying this? That may we not do something that God will reject anyone. Mm. That's why one needs to be careful in whatever you are yes. doing. Some people would preach Moses and blame Moses. But when you look at it deeply, Moses was a man I believe personally, that's my own personal opinion. He tried, he managed, as Pastor said, he stood in gap for God. them. Destroy him instead of destroying them. Hmm. And because, tell me, if it's some people of today, say, I beg, let like grand open up. Let me, God, quickly, 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 which is the wife? Let me quickly bear, bear. I know you are God who is born and able. Let me bear children. I'm going to bear children. It will become Israelite. If they won't become Israelites again. They will become Mos 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 Mosesites. They will become Mosesites. They will be too happy. And you will be too happy. But Moses said no. If you see, how many times Moses stood in the gap for the Israelites? Mm. How many times? Do you know? Do you, you know, are Moses. Do you know? Ne Moses. Never, ever, ever. Each time the, the people grumbled, mm. Moses would always go back to God. Uh, Fine enough. Moses had the heart of God, the, of, 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 of a the servant, people. of the yes. people of service. He had a heart of service. Mm. Whereby, when the people were in need, he would go and meet <laughs> God and would try to sort out the situation with God. And God would give him what he needs to do and he would bring it back and begin, and begin to talk to them. And again, when they had nothing. So he was never fed up. Of going back to God on behalf of the children. And for the children of God, children of children, the Israelites said that Moses, don't worry. Go and meet God. You, 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 you just you go and meet God. Going. Whatever he says, <laughs> we hear. You understand? <laughs> that is why you see. That's why even may God help us in the name of Jesus. That's mm. why you cannot depend fully on people. The Bible said Jesus knew people. And Jesus knew that he mm. could not depend on man because he knew the heart of, of man. man. So that is why just trust God. That's about saying that looking up to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Look up to God, and God will make a way for you, and God will uphold you in the name of Jesus. That is why, as a leader, yes. don't allow the people that God has put under you to be controlling you. Mm, you are usher leader. Mm. You don't. You don't. You have can't. A mouth. You yes. You don't have a mouth. You can't make your stand. You are choir leader. You can't make a stand. Somebody is a prayer warrior leader. You can't make a stand. Somebody has to be remoting you. You know we are when we of course like prayer warrior. Yes. The prayer leader has a prayer point to pray. No, 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 no. Ah, God spoke to me. This is the prayer part. Ah, man, uh, leader, let's pray this, let's pray that. And before you know it, the time is gone and somebody takes it out of control. Mm. That's that's controlling people. That's why you see, as a leader, a leader must be stand, that must 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 be tough, that must be able to stand firm and control and take charge of situation. That is what a leader is. A leader must not does not dance to the tune of church members because they are paying money. You know that's what I want to say. You know, if you are not careful and mm. you are a Christian, you are a church leader, you are what? And if people are giving money a lot, if care is not taken, you may dance to the attitude because they are bringing ideas. Mm. And say that okay, these people I don't want to offend them. I don't want them to go. Ah, the last time I wanted to buy a building, I don't want to buy the building. That's I wanted to buy this. I want to do this. That's I wanted to do that. They want to do this and that. They sponsored the mm. vision and the project. Then we must be very, very. That's why you see we must be. Very careful that we won't allow members to control or whatever group you are to control the leader. May God, right. help us. May God not suck us. Amen. As one pastor said, it is only that job anybody can be doing, and God has already sacked them a long mm -hmm. time ago, and they are still carrying the title of Pastor, course. Reverend, uh, Bishop. This that's why we need to be careful. Do you know there are some church members they want to control the pulpit? Of course. One pastor know. said, Church is not democracy, it is theocracy. Mm. The leader we take the we receive the vision from God. But do you know there are some churches? You know, now we are talking generally now. Oh, there are no. some churches. When pastor will say, ah, we are having this program, oh, the community will say, No, 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 no. Which program? You do not ask us now. Which program are we doing? Have you consulted us? Have you consulted the board of elders? Do you know the, we are the one who will sponsor it? No, you know we will be the one to sponsor this program. Of course. Sorry, oh, you cannot have this program until you come and and then they turn themselves into mini God. Who called who? Mm. That's why leaders, even it, it could be, it could be any group in the church when you are a leader, make your stand. Mm. Don't let because I'm sorry there are some eh, little foxes. No, not little foxes. There are some people with controlling spirit. Mm. We call them witchcraft spirit. Mm. People think it's only you know people call oh women women are uh, Jezebel. It's mm. a lie. It is not when anybody has got a controlling spirit. You haven't seen it before. 
A person will want to do a program, and somebody will think in their head, that time I, I, I will be busy, I have a party. Mm -hmm. They will now come. And Pastor, that program that you put on the 21st of July, mm -hmm. let's do it 29th of July now. And the person will say, eh, mm -hmm. okay. So in the first place, who gave you the... The... The other day. No, the date, the date. And somebody will now come and say, Mm, I don't think we can do this uh, meeting again. Do you know some? Do, do you know some, some in, in some churches? It is the church members that will control what is going on. Yes. It shouldn't be. That's why leaders out there, we need to be very careful. We need to know whom we believe. Yes. We need to know who we are in God. We need to know who has called us. Yes. It is not man that has called us. You know some people will say, ah, if I don't listen to them. Oh, if I don't listen yes. to them, ah, what's going to happen? Who called you? Hmm. If God has really, 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 really called you, beloved of God, look unto God. Some people say, oh, because I don't want them to leave. Hmm. Oh. Like I would say, it is not, funny enough, like one person, I listened to one person today, he said, Jesus had the most um, congregation on earth. And when he died, how many people followed him? In the upper room, only 120 left. So may God help us. In other words, let's just, Look up to God and church members too. See leader as leader. It doesn't matter what you are doing in the church. See your leader as your leader. Because I know it's not only BOC members that are here. There are other people watching from other nations. We need to expect the authority yes. that is coming from the from the pulpit. Oh, yes. Yes. Don't just say, ah, look, look, we formed this church together. We can do anything we like. May we not offend God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So may God help us and uphold us in Jesus' name. And may God begin to work His wonders in our lives in Jesus' name. And I believe you have all been blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. So you see, it's, it, it's, it affects both, both the leader and the follower. Yes, yeah, so if you're a follower, sheep and shepherd. Sheep and shepherd. If you're a sheep or a follower, <laughs> don't try and say you want, don't be an obstacle. Don't be a controller, mm. but be a follower. You understand? Mm. And then look, for example, when you look at the story of Peter, not, not Peter, John and James and Jesus, mm. because the people rejected Jesus. And they said that, do we call on fire to destroy them? And just said, no, you don't know what our spirit you mm. have. I did not come to destroy lives, but I came to save lives. So mm. let's be a follower that with Jesus, whatever I want you to do, I will do, I will follow you. And as a leader also, let's also nurture our people in the way of the Lord. Train that, them! Train them in the way of the Lord. Mm. And when you train them in the way of the Lord, I believe that as a pastor, as a leader, you have peace. Even if you are leading a group, when you train them with the, in the way of the Lord, with the mm. word of God, then come in the future, you will have peace of mind, mind. Because you have trained them. You don't need to shout at them or curse them or scream <laughs> at them or begin to do one thing or the other against them. Mm. All you need to do, just you need to do is what? Just uh, leave them in the hands of God because you have trained them. And when you have trained them, you know what? They will know what to do at the right place point in time. And may God help us in the name of Jesus. Pastor, may God help us. That's a, that's, a, that's a verse here. It says, I will give you pastors yes. after my uh, uh, own Jeremiah. heart. Jeremiah 3 15. Mm. Let's read it. It says, Jeremiah 3 15, it says, and I will give you pastors yes. according to my heart mm. which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Standing. Some people they have turned themselves into pastor, and pastor has become church member because <laughs> they are the one controlling pastor. May God help us all in Jesus' name. So may God uphold us in Jesus' name. So wherever you find yourself, make sure you participate fully and follow the vision. Mm -hmm. Any vision that anyone has in a ministry becomes division. So mm. that's why you say follow the vision so that all the vision can be one and you move as one. And God will mm -hmm. uphold us in the name of Jesus. Well, time as well. Let's do what we have today. Let's just touch it, what we have today, and God will help us in, Jesus, mm. in the name of Jesus. I believe that it shall be well, and it is well Amen. with us in the name of Jesus. The book of, the book of um, Ephesians chapter 6, we are treating verse 16 now. So, above all, above all, taking the shield of faith mm. with which you will be able to quench all the fairy darts of the evil one. Mm. Above all, Taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench the fairy darts of the wicked one. So, so, above all, taking the shield of faith. Now, when we say the shield of faith, 
what do we understand by the shield of faith? When you say shield of, what do you understand by the word shield of faith? Shield of, you know, I love Paul. And you see Paul, he loves making an example. I mm. guess he saw, because you know, he was in prison. Many times he has seen the, the centurions and the soldiers <laughs> getting dressed. When you look at him, sometimes he talked about grafting. I remember mm. that when we were doing agriculture, where some people were cut off and they were grafted in. And you see, he began to make examples. Mm. When he got to Athens, he saw mm. altars and saw where they said an unknown God. And from that unknown God, he began mm. to talk about this God who is known. Mm. So you see, and that is how, that's how, that's how, that's how God works. And that's how, mm. that's how uh, Paul is. He turns things around. He turns things around and gives us good examples of it. And one of, this one of his examples is, okay, uh, above all, taking the shield of faith. So what do you see, as God? what is the shield of faith? What is the shield of faith? What is the shield of faith? Hmm. What is the shield of faith? Well, what is I would the shield say, of faith? Um, shield of faith is your trust in the word of God. Hmm. Because it is our, when, when the Bible says shield of faith, that is, it is what we know. It is what you believe that is your shield of faith. Hmm. It's like when God forbid, if somebody will go to bed and there is a bad dream, and the moment they wake up, the first thing they will do is quote the word of God. The Bible declares, no weapon fashion against me will prosper. And heaven the rise up against me, Jehovah shall be condemned for this lady of children of God. That is, you are saying, mm, devil, back off. Yes. I have my shield of faith, which is the word of the living God. I have my trust in God. No devil of hell can mm. overcome me. And you know it works. Mm. So that's one of, one of the shield of faith. So mm. what is shield of faith? What do you understand the word shield of faith? Mm. Or how do you perceive Shield of faith. Faith doesn't mean that I have to go and get a shield and put faith on it mm. and hold it, and that's my shield of faith. What what does Paul? What what was Paul trying to put across when he talks about the shield of, of faith? faith. How, how do you understand? Before we go on, because we need to know about the shield of faith first. Mm. How do you understand the word shield of faith? And and how do, how does it come to you? So what is shield of faith? How do you understand shield of faith? And how can let us go into how can we can use it yet? But how, what do you understand by the word shield of faith? Pastor has spoken about the shield of faith. We are waiting for your correspondence about the shield shield of faith. I don't believe you are going to dictionary to go and check it out, but you should know <laughs> by now what 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 is your shield, shield of, of faith? faith. If somebody comes to me, meet, meet you and ask you, what is your shield of faith? What would you tell him or her? How would you correspond? What would you tell him or her? What is your shield of faith? Mm. What do you tell him? What would you tell her? How would you explain the shield of faith to such a person? We are waiting for your answer. We are waiting for your answer. How do you understand the word shield of faith? Because mm. shield of faith is very, very, yes. very, very important. Shield of faith is very, 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 very important. And um, shield of faith is very important. And God will begin to work his wonders and miracles even in every life and destiny. Amen. In the moment, somebody says, Protected faith. Shield of faith. Protected faith. Okay? Protected faith. That you protect your faith. So how do you protect your faith? That is it. Hmm. How do you protect your faith? Talking about the shield of faith. Of course, shield of faith is to protect our faith and to uphold our faith. And that shield of faith works as um, works as an offensive weapon and also defensive weapon. Hmm. You understand? Yeah. The, that's where Paul was talking about taking up. The one that is taking up is it works. It acts hmm. as a defensive weapon and offensive weapon. When you put on the whole arm of God, the whole arm of God is just a defensive weapon. That it, it defends you against the evil darts of the enemy. Mm. You understand? When you put that on. But when you have the shield of faith, you are not only using to defend yourself, you need to batter and ram your enemies and put your enemies. So it's a defensive weapon and it's, a, it's an attacking weapon and also a defensive weapon. Mm. So somebody says again, the word of God. Yes. The word of God. So our shield of faith also is, is, is shield of faith is not the word of God. But it's, it's, it's upheld by the word of God. Yes. Shield of faith is not the word of God. But it's upheld by the word of God. Because Paul gives us what the word of God is in the armor. So he didn't say the shield of faith is the word of God. So shield of faith can be upheld by the word of God. It's a God. collective thing. Yes, by the word of God. That's why it's, it's what we take up. 
you take up the shield of faith and you take up the sword. Mm -hmm. Those are the two things you take up. The shield of faith and you take up the sword. Yes. yes. Somebody said, it's when you cover... It's when you are covered in the blood of Jesus. Mm. And it's when you cover your household, like when somebody yes, is going to bed, you say, mm, I cover this house with the blood of Jesus. Yes. And I decree, I draw the bloodline. Yes. No devil, no demon can fly over my roof. Yes. In the name Not of Jesus. Jesus. That's your shield of faith. Mm. That's shield of faith. Somebody says again, believing and acting on the word of God. That's yes. a shield of faith. When you believe and act on the word of mm. God that you are hearing, that's your shield of faith. So you are acting in it and believing in it. It's not the word of God. You are acting and believing in the word of God that you, you know, have heard that you know. Not is the word of God. So that's the difference. You are believing and acting on the word of God is different from the word of God. You cannot believe and act on the word of God except you hear or read the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Mm. So if you want to use your shield, you must know the word of God. Yes, yeah, so if you don't know the word of God, how can you act on it? You and can't act on a vacuum. How, yeah, exactly. And how can you believe in it? So it is what you know, know that you can act on and believe in. Mm. So, knowing is the most important part of the shield of faith. We must know the word of God. My is believing and acting on the word of God. Yes. And then says, my hope and trust in God holds and shields my faith. Yes, that's it. Your hope and trust yeah. in God. You are hoping in God. That means that you have to know him first for you to hope in him. Yes. That's our shield. That's our anchor mm. that holds us down. And that's our upholding power that holds us mm. down. So, that is the shield of faith. The shield of faith is the anchor. It's what holds us in God. Mm. It's not God himself. It's not Jesus himself. It's not the Holy Ghost, but it's what holds us in God himself. And then the brother said the name of Jesus. That is yes. the faith in the name of Jesus. That yes. is, it's like when somebody is having a dream. Yes. And in their dream they say, Jesus. Yes. Automatically. Hmm. The moment you say, Jesus. Yes. Because as a believer, you have faith in that name. The Bible says that the name of Jesus, every name, name was bowed. I'm telling you. If they come in one way, they will flee seven ways. Yes, sir. Mama says, I think the, f the shield of faith means declaring the word of God. Of course, yes. the word of God. Which are, uh, that also, you know. That you know. The word of God that you know. Hmm. You cannot tell the enemy. I think the word of God says... Uh, wait for me, wait for me. Wait for me. Let me go and get it. <laughs> I think even if you misquote, it doesn't work. You need to quote it the way it is. Mm -hmm. Once you quote the word of God, you cannot blabber it. Uh, uh, whoever, no, 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 no weapon um, design. No it's weapon. like saying, I plead the blood of God. Uh -huh, say, exactly. which, which, I say, ah, you, you don't know your right. <laughs> it is not God. It is Jesus that died. So, because the devil we are fighting is older than us. Of course. And he knows all. He doesn't know so if he doesn't know all, he won't quote to Jesus the word of God. Mm. You cannot say that I come against you to the fire of Jesus. There's no fire of Jesus, there's nothing like that in the Bible. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. You understand? Mm. So there are all these things has its place. And the only way you can know it is by digging deep in the word Bible. of God and knowing God Himself. Mm. You understand? A demon cannot be dancing and say, Come out in the name of God, you will not answer you. The, 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 the demon will be laughing. Come out in the name of the Holy Spirit, you will not answer you. There's only one name, only one name given amongst men by which we can be saved. Only one name, name raised Jesus. in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. That is the mm. name of Jesus. And that's why you see, as Christians, we must know the rights. If I can say, when to use God, when to use Jesus, when mm. to use the Holy Ghost. We must know the right terminology and the right, okay, that what, okay, what, what, which occasion calls for it. Wherever we find ourselves. Mm. It's very, very important. Many Christians, as the Bible said, they are praying and miss. Why? Because they are not, they are not... Um, Many people don't receive because they pray and miss. They pray and miss. Because they are not using either faith or Jesus or God or Holy Ghost. They are, they are mixing everything up. God has his place. Jesus has his place. And the Holy Ghost has his own place. I'm able to <laughs> use them at the right time time so that it can work for you and I. You cannot say that. Father, in the name of the Holy Ghost, I come before you in the name of the Holy Ghost. No, you can't do that. There's nothing like that. You in come, the name of Jesus. Jesus. As the Father in my name, the Bible says, as the Father in my name. Now, you can say, Lord, I consume you by the fire of the Holy Ghost. It will consume you. I consume you in the fire of Jesus Christ. There's nothing like that in the Bible. So, you see, you must follow scripture and let scripture be scripture and then you will not run into any problems. That's why, right. to be honest with you, you know, I find it, mm, when people are praying, they say, I pray in the name of the God of my father. 
I don't believe in that. I'm sorry, I don't believe in it. Oh, God of your pastor. I don't, no. pastor, I don't believe in that. Let nobody mention my name <laughs> when they are praying. No. Mention, the Bible says, God has given us a name that is above every other name. Have the mention of the name of just every name was back. Many people, when they are praying, they say, I pray in the name of my... They will not mention the yeah. name of the pastor. pastor. Mm -mm. Ah. God of something. Listen, no. Listen. Many, many years ago, when we were sitting in our old church, I remember very, 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 when we were sitting in our old church, mm. um... You know, these people, they don't have any pastor or anything. Um, we can say prophet or pastor T.L. Osborne oh, came yes. to the church. Mm. And after he had ministered mm. powerfully, signs and wonders, the, somebody came up and began to pray. And said, that, Lord, we thank you. We thank you. The God of T.L. Osborne work wonders and miracles and this and that. And after the person finished, the man raised his hand. And Excuse said, me? Let, me. let me say something. You don't pray. In my, my name, name. <laughs> is, <laughs> is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob we have in the Bible, or Jesus? Jesus. That's what he said, or Jesus, mm. or Jesus. So we only pray in the name of Jesus, and God will help us and uphold us in the name of Jesus, and God will uphold us in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will begin to work His wonders, and He will do a new work and a great work for everyone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So I hope that drives it home that you only pray in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. You know, people just copy anything. Yes, so somebody said it and uh -huh. nobody is saying anything. And they're following they are, it. They are running with it. Mm, you know, some people will call the God of their church when they are praying to come and deliver them. Not, in heaven there is no there's, nothing like that. There's no it's only God, Jesus, Holy <coughs> Ghost. God, Jesus, <coughs> Holy Ghost. And what do we do? We pray to God the Father in the name of Jesus mm. with the help of the Holy Ghost. Mm. That's how it works. We pray to God the Father in the name of Jesus with the power and the help of the Holy Ghost so that our prayers can go up there and hit where it's supposed to hit and get to where it's supposed to get and get to the throne of God. Because you know, every prayer we render has to pass through the third heaven, the second heaven, before it gets to the first heaven or whether, which, which, whichever way around. But it has to get to, but it has to pass through those points has to pass through your ceiling, where I say sky and everything, and you know, before it gets there. So, if it's well packaged, of course it gets there. But if it's not well packaged, I don't want to say, but it's not well packaged. That's why you must package your prayers properly. properly, using the name of God, the name of Christ, and the Holy Ghost in the right format, mm. as heaven has given us the blue the prints. The mandate. Not in the God of your church. Your church is, help me God. I say, God of God of help me God, help me church, Lord, we are praying the wrong prayer. Uh, or your pastor, God is signs and wonders, and his name is A. Oh, the God of Pastor A. Answer my prayer. That's a wrong prayer. God, that is not in the scripture. Mm. We never saw the disciples praying in the name of Paul, or Peter, or James, or whatever. They prayed in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. When they prayed in Acts chapter 4, for I think uh, 27 or something. He said they pray in the name of Jesus. That in the name of your son Jesus Christ. Yes. Here also they prayed in the name of Jesus. When Not the man was, um, the, the man at the beautiful gate. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Acts 3. Mm. Mm. In the name of Jesus. So, let, me, let me open it for somebody. So you see. Mm. We, I know you're talking about shade of faith. But this is very important. So that we as Christians. We need to know how to pray Yay. the right prayer. Where God comes in. Where Jesus Christ comes in and where the Holy Ghost comes in. They say, Our God is a consuming mm. fire. That is the Holy Ghost. You understand? The name of Jesus, He has given a name above every name. Mm. That the name of Jesus, every name should bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. So if mm. you want to bind and destroy powers in the heavens or on earth, under the earth, you have to use the name of Jesus. Mm. No other name will work. Now, if you want to pray to the Father, you pray to the name of Jesus Christ. No one comes to the Father except by me. If you want to ask the Father, ask the Father in my name, Jesus says. And then when you ask the Father in the name of Jesus, then the Father in heaven would hear. And that is the format that the Bible yes. has given us. No other format. So may God help us in Jesus' name. I'm reading Acts chapter 3 from verses 13 to 15. It says, Acts 3, 13. The God of Abraham and Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has yes. glorified his son Jesus, yes, sir. whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the only one and the just, and desired, and, and desired a murderer to be gathered unto you, and killed the prince of life, whom God hath raised from the dead. Wherefore we are his witnesses. Hmm. And his name, through faith, 
in his name, in his name has it. made this man strong, mm. whom you see today. and know. Yeah, the faith which is by him have given him his perfect soundness in the presence of you all. They didn't say in the name of the God of Peter mm -mm. or the God of uh, John. Uh, John. No, mm. he said in the name of just because there are many things people are doing that many people are running with it. I yeah, remember yeah, one great man yeah. of God who said, if you call my name when you are praying or in your sleep, he says, masquerade will beat you up. <laughs> because the man realized that don't call people's name. Mm -mm. It is Jesus that died. Yes. It doesn't matter how powerful a servant of God is. It, it is not the servant of God that died for anybody. Mm -hmm. It is God that died for our sins. And may God deliver everybody from error. That's why we are saying this for people to know out mm. there that is... There's a format, there's a formula, there's a blueprint from heaven yes. as to how to communicate mm. with heaven. Yes. And it's not the name of man, it's not the name of a church, it's the name of Jesus through the Holy Ghost mm. praying to God the Father. You must understand that very, very well. That is what is written. And the apostles, when they prayed, everywhere they prayed, every miracle they did, they did in the name of Jesus. They didn't call. Paul, who came late, if I can't that Paul, who came late, mm. they don't say, you man, in the name of the God of Peter, stand up. He didn't say that. Because Peter was ahead of him. Peter was senior to him. Peter had gone ahead. Peter walked with Jesus. He did not even see Jesus. So he could have as well said that, man, rise up and walk in the name of the God of Peter. Mm -hmm. He didn't say that. Says in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. So I believe that church, we need to get that right and make that, that is, don't pray in the name of God, God, your, your God of your church or God of your, your, your pastor or whatever. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And may God uphold us in the name of Jesus. And may God turn things around for us and so that mm -hmm. we can pray our right and do things our right because we don't want to offend God and we don't because our God is a jealous God. Hmm. If you begin to use your pastor or them for your church as something else, this jealous God will arise. He will arise. Our God is jealous God. He will not share his glory with, with anyone. Anybody. God will not share. Never ever share his glory with anyone. And may God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just spoke to those who make a rule and they said that we should pray according to the, the, the Bible, Bible outline. Applied. Of course, that is it now. That is the way we are supposed to. So may God help us and uphold us in the name of Jesus. And I believe that if you are being in that error, correct in that it. category. God has, you have heard the truth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus and the name of Jesus only. Hmm. And the name of God Almighty, the El Shaddai and no other God. God does not need any addition or qualification to his there is name. no co-redeemer that's yes he like doesn't need say, no god, god of the church of a god, god doesn't god doesn't mm. need to be god of church of a before he answers your prayers mm. he's already god by himself ha. whether god of a church of a exists or not god is god by himself so he doesn't need a name to qualify him the only name that qualifies god is the el shaddai elohim the shalom the, he has given us the mm. he has given us what we need to qualify him so we don't need to add any more qualifications to God it's already in the Bible so I it's believe that it's established let's do that and God will help us in the name and just tell us how to pray our father who has in who is in heaven Hallowed be thy Simple. name. Our Father who is in heaven <laughs> hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come so say Jesus and this is the way you should pray pray to your father who is in heaven. Mm. I want to hear your father who is in heaven pray mm. in my name and then my father who hears you pray in my name will hear you and grant your request. Simple. So may God help us in the name of mm. Jesus. I think we'll stop here tonight mm. so that we can move on and God will help us in Jesus' name. Um, somebody says shield of connect all other weapons together and make them to work effectively okay then man of god man of god thank you very much god bless you pastor mike oh god is, bless you the shield that connects everything together and connects all weapons together and makes it very effective in the name mm. of jesus so go help us in jesus name yes look at john 14 yes and i read verses 12 and 13 mm. john 14 12 verily verily i say unto you yes, he that yes, believeth on me, me. The works that, that I do, he shall he do also. And greater works than this will he shall do, he do, because, because I go unto my Father. Father. Verse 13. Mm. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, name, that will I do, do, that the Father may be glorified in, in the, the Son. Son. If you ask anything in my name, mm. I will do it. Mm. That is Jesus speaking. Yes, sir. 
ask anything in the name of Jesus to the Father, he will do it. It's so the only name that opens the key to heaven is Jesus. Jesus. Not the name of a church or the name of a pastor or the name of a dead saint or the name of, eh, a, of an angel <laughs> or the name of whatever. We have not even, we don't know the origin. Hmm. No, we know the origin of Jesus. We know Jesus is God and that's the only key that can open heaven. No other key. Make it simple. Make, very simple. No <laughs> other key opens heaven. The only key that opens heaven is what? The name of Jesus. Jesus. And may we stick. I don't know why people like to complicate things. No, I think it's, it's common with we Africans. I know. In this Western world, what? nobody, but, I can imagine somebody praying. Mm. And Pastor Benny will say pray. And I'll say, Father, in the name of the God of Benny, I'm sure Benny will say, wake up if you are sleeping. <laughs> are you dreaming? <laughs> Who told you I'm your redeemer? I am not a God redeemer. Of course so. I think it's only with we is he, it's common in Africa. I think because I don't know, maybe because to make them happy or make them feel big or make them feel important that they want to pray in that name. I know God answers prayers through them, yes, but that does not give us the prerequisite or rights to begin to use their name as a God of whatever to make our prayers to God or the name of the church as our prayers to God. God did not say that. Jesus does no, it's true. Jesus did not say that. If not, we'd have been praying in the name of the God of uh, Antioch, that Paul formed, the God of Thessalonians, the God of Corinthians, the God of Philippians, Ephesians, the God of Ephesians, Thessalonica, Thessalonica, and then we should be praying in the name Galatians, of Timothy and Titus, even and then Corinthians, Corinthians. Corinth. and then we should now pray in the name of the churches that um, John saw. And uh, Pam Pamphylia and uh, Samaria, you understand? We should be praying in that in the name of the churches one by one. May God deliver, May God deliver us. So, mankind, we, we, <laughs> we don't need to complicate Christ. You see, I believe that many times people are complicating Christ. We don't need to mm. let's leave it as simple as the Bible has, has made it. it. The Bible has made it as mm. simple as it is yes. in the name of Jesus. Follow that simplicity. <laughs> And you never run into error. It's when people begin to try and, and say to qualify the Jesus of the God of the church of church A and Simon. That's too complicated. Jesus Christ, finish. Boom. You are there already. Mm. God deliver. Let's 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 close the chapter. <laughs> no, because you see, do mm. you know at times the Bible says my people are destroyed for lack, lack of, of knowledge. knowledge yes. Can I say this? And please don't get me wrong, mm. don't misquote us. You know, this is Bible study. Mm. Who told anybody that God is happy with this particular person? You are using their names to pray. Of course. God forbid bad thing. I'm sure God will just be in heaven. The Bible says God laughs. Mm. Say, ah, see the people I sent my son Jesus to die for. They will now be using the name of a servant of God, the name of a woman of God to the pray. Who told you that God is happy with this particular person? You know we don't know anything. No. God cannot be happy because God is jealous. God. Fine enough. Do you know one thing? It is when we get to heaven. That we will see everything. Kedere, well, what is the English of Kedere now? Plainly. Plainly. Plain, make it plain. Make it plain. And when we get to heaven, eh, there will be many surprises. People will be praying the name of this, in the name of that, in the name of this, in the name of that. Who told you that? At the end of the day, that person is pleasing God. Mm. And you are not praying in the name of that person. Mm. I'm not saying people that are mentioning names. I'm not saying their leader is bad. Mm. And we, we did not say that. Yes, but what yes. we are saying that we must not be ignorant of the devices of the, the devil. devil. Mm. Somebody says that, does this mean that we should not be calling the God of Abraham again? We didn't say that. He's even in the Bible. God, God, God himself, yes. when he appeared to Moses, mm. said himself, I am the God of Abraham, I am the God of Isaac, Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Mm. And then when Jesus began to deliberate on that, he said, this God is not the God of the dead. Because Abraham and Jacob are not dead. That's why he said, I am the God of Abraham, and I, Isaac, Isaac, and, and Jacob. Jacob. That came out out of the mouth of God. He's even in that Acts chapter 3. It's Acts there, and that came out. So... We can as well use that because that came out out of the mouth of God. You understand? Know, those are the off that we can be qualifying. It's inside God. Bible. Because it's inside the scripture. It's inside the scripture. Funga Whatever. is not inside Bible. <laughs> Chris is not there. In the name of Pastor Funga, no. I, I would say, hey, I bind you. I bind you <laughs> so, in Jesus' name. But God of Abraham, mm. God of Isaac, is God here. of Jacob is Acts in the 3, Bible. Acts 3, 13. Mm -hmm. The God of Abraham, yes. of Isaac, and of Jacob, Jacob, the God of our fathers, of yes. glorified his son Jesus, mm. whom he delivered up. And That's New Testament. Him. That's New Testament. New Testament. Mm. Acts chapter 3, verse 13. Mm. So, it's telling us that we can pray in the God of Abraham, mm. Isaac, and Jacob, 
or qualify God with that. But apart from that, there's no other God. God did not say God of um, David. Mm-mm, he didn't say that. He didn't even say God of Moses. You understand? We should have said God of Moses also. But mm. God did not call himself the God of Moses. You understand? It's only God of Abraham. And I believe that it's because of confusion. God knows we human beings. If God begins to name, I'm the God of Abraham. God of Aaron. God of uh, Aaron. Uh, God, God of, of Aaron, Josephus. God of uh, Eli. God of Samuel. God of uh, uh, Isaiah. God of Jeremiah. God of Daniel. God of this. God of that. And people do pray. The only thing that God gave us is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Do you know a good example? Yes. Eli was a priest. Yes, now. First class priest. priest. High priest, though. And do you know God was angry with, with him. him? Yes. God was angry with his father. So, assuming people around him, assuming where Anna went to Shiloh, Father, up. let the God of Eli answer me. She would have died a barren woman. Because God is not even happy with Eli in the first place. And listen to this, so even though God was not, and this is where we need to be careful. Careful. Even though God was not happy with Eli, hmm. He still allowed His word to come to pass. It was Eli that spoke. May the God of Israel grant you your, your request. request. And then she said, Amen. May it be according to your word, word. the man of God. And she went and she ate and she was she didn't repent anymore. And she went to, and that same year she became pregnant. Mm. This is the man that God had rejected already. Mm. He still spoke. And why are we saying this? Because nobody knows the standing of any, any man, or man, man of God. You don't know what anybody, You only know your standing. You only know what you only see what you're seeing. And anybody we're not condemning or don't no. get us wrong. Even us, nobody knows. Do you know what I'm doing in the in May the, we not do it? God, we're not doing evil. But nobody see what I'm doing. Once you see me and we are off this program, we, we say bye bye to you. You don't know what I'm doing next. So you see, nobody knows. We're not saying that people are doing hideous. No, but we are saying that look at this Eli that God has even put aside and yet he spoke a word and miracle happened. It was Eli that brought forth Samuel that God was waiting for. Look at it. First Samuel chapter 1. Yes. First Samuel chapter 1 verse 15. Mm. And Anna answered and said, that was when Eli said, Are you a drunk woman? Mm. Go home. Mm. Why are you here? Listen. And Eli said unto her, Anna will not be drunken. Put away thy wine from thee. Mm. Verse 15. And Anna answered and said, No, my Lord. Mm. And they put little Lord. Mm. L-O-R-D. L-O-R-D. Lord. I'm a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink or... Mm. But I've poured out my soul to God. before the Lord. Mm. He didn't say, I've poured out my heart before the God of Eli. Mm-mm. She would have missed it that mm. day. And this, this Eli spoke. And when he spoke, mm. miracle happened. happened. So may God help us in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. I know somebody may, may now argue and say, okay, what about God? I just remember just now. Because mm. I like both sides. Mm. I like both sides. What about Elisha? Mm. He said, where is the God of Elijah when he hit the rock? Mm. And that was the only time he said, the first, when he hit the river Jordan to give part, when mm. he had the mantle and said that, uh, God of Elijah, show yourself, boom. And that was the only time. We never had Elisha praying. Call, praying or call God the God of Elijah again, mm. except on that one okay. occasion. Mm. And that was it. Nothing more, no more, no less. And nobody mentioned uh, God of Elijah, God of Moses, even if, 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 if everything has been normal, they should be even mentioned the God of Moses up to now. Hmm. Moses is read in the synagogue up to today. tomorrow. Up to today, <laughs> speaking. So, and that's why Moses, no, uh, it's only God that can touch their hearts, you understand? Moses is read every day in the synagogue up to what, now that you are talking. And why am I saying that? And God did not say God of Moses. So, mm-hmm. and nobody said God of Moses. So, may God help us. Just say, may we not misjive. May we not push God to wrath or jealousy mm. or anger. May we not, may we not, may, may God not turn his back against any individual. Because, you know, the Bible says, our God is a jealous God. Mm. His glory, two things. Our God is a jealous God. Yes. His glory, he does not share, share with, with anyone. anyone. And don't have any graven image. Mm. Graven image is not only when you carve something and begin to worship it. It's mm. also when you begin to worship people. Man. Man. When they, look at what happened. When they worshipped 
Herod. What happened? Instantly he died there. Mm. Oh, the voice of a God, not even of a man. Mm. And he took it. He died instantly mm. there. And it became it decayed instantly. That his wounds began to come out instantly. It takes three or four days before wounds will begin to come out from a dead body. But instantly it came out. So may God help us. Just I hope this word has touch somebody mm. and transform your life. You know, as I was saying, as, as this program is on, I mean, yes, it's on. I'm sure there are great people out there. Of course. You can be a church member today. You don't know where God is taking you tomorrow. You. Maybe you become bishop, or most, most reverend, or the first pope in uh, Pentecostal. Apostle, mm. evangelist, pastor, teacher. Don't let people kill you. Oh. Mm. Don't let anybody pray in your name. Mm. It's true. Of course. Because may we not die suddenly. Mm. May it not be our portion. Of course. Because, because today, always remember this uh, Bible study. Yes, so sir. that when you become most right reverend, the <laughs> archbishop, the, the cardinal, the whatever you want to call yourself, mm. don't let people pray in your name. Mm. Point them to Jesus. Day. Pray in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Don't kill me. Mm. So may God help us in Jesus' name. You know what bodies are now is the shield of faith. We'll talk more about that next week by the grace of God. <laughs> you know, this program airs every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Because mm. I just like time, time has gone. Wow. We need to round up now. But I know you have been blessed out there. You've learned something out mm. there. And please take it on board. As I said before, to conclude, we that's why we didn't mention anybody's name. We are not criticizing. We are pointing you to what the Bible says. Yes, Bible. We are not condemning. We are not bringing down any church or any God man or woman of God. We don't do that. We don't believe in that. What we are pointing you to is the word of, of God. God. What the Bible says. Mm. The name of Jesus, the name of God, the name of Jesus, and the name of the Holy Ghost. The right use of those names so that mm. they can work for you and I. Mm. And there's no other name that we can use apart from the name of God, yes, so the good. name of Jesus, and the name of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Why am I saying that? God just said that baptize in the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. So that's mm. why I'm using the name. You understand? So may God help us. In general. May we stick with the Bible and live a simple life as a Christian. Bible. And God will help us mightily and marvelously in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you're out there and not born again, mm. you have to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. So you are saying, ah, well, I want to be born again. Mm. Just say this simple prayer. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come before I you. I come before you. I am a sinner. I'm a sinner. Forgive me my Forgive sins. My sins. Wash, me with your blood. Wash with your blood. I accept you. I accept you today. As my Lord and, as my Lord and Savior. Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You know, when Pastor was saying that, I was just thinking that, look, it's just Jesus, Jesus, Jesus we used coming to Jesus. Lord Jesus, I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. That is how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Not the name of anybody. So may God help us. Just one prayer point. That Lord, uphold me to the end. Yes, so don't let me fall into error. Mm. Because there are so many errors out there that Lord, don't let me fall mm. into error. Or Paul, let's begin to pray in the name of Father, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, man, tako, rabbi, yanda. Help me, help my husband, help my children, help your people who will not fall into error, who will not be ignorant, who will not offend God, oh, man, tako, rabbi, yanda, nebo, yada. Father, help us, help us, help us, oh God. Man, tako, rabbi, in Jesus' name Amen. we pray. Father, we just want to bless your name. Yes. We worship you. We say be magnified, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, the Bible says, send forth his word and he healed them and delivered them from all their destruction. Lord, we have heard your word today. Yes. Father, the grace to live according to the word of God. We receive that grace right now in, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. And that sister that said she needs a job and then her papers will declare, will declare that the able God, the mighty God, that are you, the Lord will step into your situation and there will be a miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. And as many as are watching today, the God of heaven, the able God, the mighty God, he will meet every need. He will touch every situation in the name of Amen. Jesus. And there shall be testimonies Amen. who will live for Jesus yes. and will be rapturable. Amen. Father, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Quickly, Sundays, 10 a.m., join us for Bible study. Uh, Sunday worship, and God will bless you. And then Sundays in the evening, join us for Proverbs Forum, 8 p.m., and God will bless you in Jesus' name. And please don't forget on air my cry for the next um five days now. You know, normally from the first of every month through to the seventh, from the first to the seventh, we have early morning prayers, six o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow is another day, six o'clock in the morning. It's only for 30 minutes. And what we do, what, what do we do? We ask for the power of the Holy Ghost. So join us and God will bless us all in Jesus' name. On Wednesdays, we have Bible study at 7 p.m. Join us and God will bless you. Fridays, we have prayer meeting. Join us 7 p.m. God will bless you. And don't forget prophetic hour every Tuesday at 9 p.m. So we were not able to come yesterday. 
sorry about that, you do have my group. Back next to by God's grace. And Amen. tomorrow, fire for fire prayer conference, nine o'clock. Join us and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And please don't forget, um, tomorrow, yeah, my cry, oh God, one o'clock in the afternoon, be a part of this. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. And we have it every Wednesday, one o'clock in the afternoon, every Monday, 11 p.m. And every Sunday, 6 a.m. God bless you. And don't forget, the third Friday of every month, we have Holy Ghost prayer and um, prayer meeting. Friday, Holy Ghost night VJ. Join us at 12 midnight and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. And then the last day of every month, we have give that experience just for 30 minutes, 11 for the 5. Join us and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The God we are serving is the mighty God. Thanks once again for joining us. We do appreciate you. God will bless, increase, honor you, and prosper Amen. you. Let's ask something from God and in the name of Jesus and the answer us in Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Father, you are right. Thank you, Lord, because you know I ask for more of you and all of myself. Holy Ghost, feel me, feel me, feel me, feel me, feel me. All of you and all of my grace will be for you to do your way to please you. I receive today Manto, Kora, Bayaga, Diya, In Jesus' Holy Ghost, name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you. Bless we glorify you. Amen. We ask in the name of your Son, Jesus, and grant our request in Jesus' name. Begin to work your wonders. Amen. Turn things around for us. Amen. Mighty Father, every request that we have made unto you, grant in the name of Jesus Amen. and let your name be glorified. Amen. Thank you, Lord, we bless you. Amen. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. Amen. Once again, thank you very much for joining us. God will bless you. We appreciate you. Sorry for taking your time, but I know you have been blessed and you are blessed and highly favored. Tomorrow we'll see you 1 p.m. and also 9 p.m. and God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Shall we share the grace and fellowship, please? May the, the grace, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the love of God, and the Spirit of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. God bless Thank you. you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.